Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Chefin's Experience, a taste of Jamaica. In this episode, we will be making that midday meal that everyone looks forward to. Steamed fish and water crackers. Alright, so now let's get into my favorite part of everything, and that's the cooking. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take our snappers, give them a little slit on either side. And the reason we're doing this is so that the flavor will penetrate a lot better. Right? You don't have to make it too deep, you don't have to make it too big, or if you want to, by all means. Again, that will get more flavor into the fish. All right, now to add flavor to our fish, today we're gonna to be using the Eton's fish seasoning. We're not going to add any salt, we're not gonna add any pepper, everything that we need is already in this. We're gonna pop the top, season the outside, get some into the slits that we made earlier. Again, we're looking for full flavor penetration here. One recommendation that I would make is you could do this before you cut up all of your seasonings and your vegetables. That way it has a little time to marinate and the flavor will be better. All right, so we'll go on the inside here. Next fish. Now the flavors you'll get from this include some paprika, we have black pepper, we have onion, garlic, and cumin, which I think adds a nice little touch. have it. So we're going to set this aside, wash my hands again, and then we'll get started on sauteing some of our vegetables. Then we'll make the broth, add the fish to it. We're good to go. All right, so now we're over at the stove. What we're going to do, we're going to preheat some vegetable oil. And we like to use a vegetable or a canola oil because it's neutral. The flavor is neutral. We're going to preheat some oil, saute off some of our vegetables and aromatics. We start with the Irish and the pumpkin. Those are flavors that we want into the broth. So as soon as our oil is heated, we get going. So we're gonna go in with some Irish potatoes here. Then our pumpkin. This will add, add the flavor, texture, and color to the broth. This will help to thicken it up as well. Give that a little stir. Go in with our carrots. And the onions. From here we add a spray of thyme. And our crushed allspice berries. We're gonna let that saute for about two minutes. Typically, we'd add a scotch bonnet pepper here. And we know scotch bonnet is not so easy to get anywhere outside of Jamaica, but we have you covered. We're gonna be using the Monroe scotch bonnet powder today. It has the flavor, it has the heat, all that intensity. Everything is still in here. And you can get this as well as the fish seasoning on our website at tasteofjamaica.com. Simply go to the website, click on the products that you want, add them to your shopping cart. Two to seven days later, a box is delivered to your doorsteps. So now that everything has been sauteed for a couple of minutes, I'm going to add the garlic. I don't like adding garlic too soon because this burns a lot easier than everything else. And that can add an off flavor that we don't want in there. So no more than about 60 seconds for sauteing the garlic. From here, we move into adding the water is add the water and flavor it with our Eton's fish seasoning. And to get some of that heat that we're missing out on, Monroe's Scotch Bonnet Powder. As little or as much as you want, really and truly. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about two minutes. 
when we reduce the heat to low, add our fish, let that simmer and cook away for about eight to 10 minutes. Now, a lot of persons don't know that even if you have your meats in water, it, it can actually dry it out. If you're boiling it too rapidly, it can dry out. And that is why I suggest we turn the heat to low, medium low thereabout, and let the fish gently simmer so that we have a nice, delicate and tender, flaky kind of fish. So our liquid has reduced a bit here. I'm gonna turn the heat down to low and add the snapper. Just gonna nestle them in like that. From here, it's just a matter of allowing the fish to cook. And we're gonna cook this to about 80, 75, 80% 80 of the way, which should take about five, six minutes. Then we're going to add the remainder of our vegetables, the okra, some bell peppers, some scallion, and some tomatoes. All right, so our fish is almost done. The broth has reduced a little bit, and it's about 80% done. This is completely optional, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna turn the fish over. I just want, you know, full flavor coverage. From here, we're going to start adding everything else. So some sliced bell peppers, completely optional. You can't have steamed fish without okra if you're gonna do it Jamaican style. We're going with a little bit of scallion here. So this is a really colorful dish. By the time we present it, it's going to just like pop. And some tomatoes. I like mine in wedges because presentation is very important to me. Give it a stir. And then we have about two to three minutes here. We're good to go. Remove the fish, we add the crackers, cover it so that it steams and absorb some of that broth. And then we serve. All right, so now our fish is fully cooked. We're gonna remove it from the pan. I went ahead and tasted it, adjusted it for seasoning, and I think we're good to go now. So we're gonna be using some national water crackers. These two are available on the website at tasteofjamaica.com. Put in as little or as much as you want. Turn it off. Optional, you can cover it and let it steam, or you can just leave it in there. We have enough residual heat here that would still steam it anyway. So, everybody is finished. Everything is finished. The fish is finished, the crackers are steamed, vegetables ready. Now we're gonna plate. I can get a little intricate here, bear with me. I'm gonna take up some crackers. Just arrange them around the plate. Go ahead with one of our snappers here. Drop that up like so. We got a nice wide plate so that we can kind of fill it up, but still have what we like to call negative space here. Presentation. Presentation looking nice and everything. And this is a really nice dish for presentation because we have a lot of colors on here. Have some of our pumpkin. Some of our pumpkin cooked all the way out and that helps the flavor and thicken up the broth. But we had some bigger pieces like this, which still remain which I really like because, again, it looks really good. All right. So, we have a good amount of okra. And I think that's about it. So, that's all the time we have for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned a lot. That's very important. You never know what we'll be making next. So, make sure that you never miss an episode. Like and share this video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know what's going on. You understand? Like right from the get go. 
Tell us, what's your favorite lunch meal? Did we prepare it today? Let us know in the comments below. We love interactivity. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you on the next episode of Chefin's Experience, A Taste of Jamaica. Bye.